This video will demonstrate the proper procedure for setting up and using the Kato Prewinder electric installation tool. Let's begin by reviewing each component. This is the transformer. In the back, you'll find the connection for the power cord. To the left is an on-off switch with the light indicator on the front. Plug the electric driver cable here. Turn the cable so that the white indicator dot is facing up. This will be the proper orientation. Turn the knurled collar to secure the cable in place. Next to that, you'll find the high-low switch. Please note, for installation of the coil thread inserts, always use the low setting. The next component is the KFS-20 brushless electric driver. Plug the cable that leads to the transformer in the back. Once again, the white dot will indicate proper orientation. Turn the knurled collar to secure the cable. Here you have the trigger. And on the back, there is a switch for forward, neutral, and reverse. Even though this is an automatic reversing tool, in case you ever need to use the manual reverse, here is the switch. Towards the front, you will find a torque adjusting nut. It controls how much torque is applied before the driver automatically reverses. You simply pull back on the sleeve and turn it clockwise to tighten and counterclockwise to loosen. Please note the nut will lock into place every half a turn or 180 degrees. The Kato KFS-20 electric driver will install coil thread inserts up to 3 8, 16, and M12. To allow for this broad range of sizes, the KFS-20 electric driver includes two torque limiting springs. The spring is located beneath the torque adjusting nut. Use the blue spring for smaller sizes and the silver spring for larger sizes. To install the appropriate spring, Remove the torque adjusting nut by turning it counterclockwise. Slide the appropriate spring over the quick to disconnect sleeve and reconnect the torque adjusting nut. At the tip of the tool you will find the quick disconnect sleeve. We will not be using this feature for the Prewinder electric setup. Inside the drive shaft there is a magnetic stop. That will need to be removed using a trigger bolt that comes in the box. Slide the trigger bolt into the drive shaft and turn clockwise a few times. Pull the trigger bolt out of the drive shaft. The magnetic stop should come out with it. Remove the bolt from the magnetic stop. Be sure to store the magnetic stop in a safe place so you don't lose it. The next component is the adapter. The adapter acts as a bridge between the electric driver and the front end assembly. The threads on the adapter are left hand threads. To assemble, slide the adapter over the front of the electric driver and turn counterclockwise to tighten. A good hand tightening is all that is needed. Do not over tighten. Notice the window in the adapter. This provides access to the torque nut and allows the torque to be adjusted when the tool is fully assembled. At the front of the adapter is a lock nut. Turn clockwise to loosen it. Turn counterclockwise to tighten it. The final component is the front end assembly. This is the part you'll swap out for the insert type and different thread sizes. The Kato Prewinder electric tool can install both tangless and tanged inserts. The two major components of the front end assembly are the prewinder body and the mandrel. Note the prewinder body is stamped with the thread size. Inside the tangless mandrel is the spring loaded pivoting pawl. This is the part that will grab the insert and drive it into the STI tapped hole. The tanged mandrel has a drive contour that will grab hold of the tang and drive the insert into the STI tapped hole. The standard front end assembly also includes three spacers and four shims, three thin and one thick. The spacers and shims control how far out the prewinder body the mandrel will travel. Using one of the spacers and one more shim will allow you to fine tune the depth adjustment for your particular application. The smallest spacer is for two diameter inserts 
and the medium spacer is for one and a half diameter inserts, and the largest spacer is for one diameter inserts. For this demonstration, we're using a one and a half diameter insert, so we'll use the medium spacer. Thread the mandrel completely out of the prewinder body. Slide the medium spacer over the mandrel, and then thread the mandrel back into the prewinder body. Do not thread the mandrel all the way back into the prewinder body. Threading it about halfway is good enough. Here's a tip to help you check the installation depth before assembling the complete tool. While holding the prewinder body perpendicular to the tapped hole, turn the mandrel and install the insert manually. Once the insert is fully installed, thread the mandrel out of the insert. Now check the installation depth. Adjust if necessary by adding or subtracting shims. To connect the front end assembly, remove the lock nut from the end of the adapter. Remember the threads are left-handed, so turn clockwise. Slide the mandrel into the electric driver. You may need to rotate the mandrel a few flats to ensure proper alignment with the drive shaft. The mandrel should freely slide all the way into the drive shaft. Place the lock nut over the front end assembly and tighten by turning counterclockwise. Before fully tightening the lock nut, rotate the front end assembly so that it is positioned for operator comfort and preference. Once again, a good hand tightening is all that is needed. Do not over tighten. The front end assembly is designed to work with bulk and strip feed inserts. However, its optimal use is with strip feed inserts. Towards the tip of the front end assembly, notice the strip feed slot. Slide the plastic strip through the slot. Once the insert is in the well and the strip cannot be pulled through the slot any further, the insert is lined up with the mandrel and ready to be installed. Hold the tool perpendicular to the hole so that it is straight. Avoid holding it at an angle. This can cause the installation to fail and may damage the installation tool. Always use the minimum amount of torque that will install the insert. Begin with a very low torque setting. This will cause the driver to automatically reverse before the insert fully installs. Press the trigger to activate the electric driver. Note the insert started to enter the hole, but the driver reversed automatically because the torque wasn't enough. Use the window opening in the adapter to turn the torque nut 180 degrees or a half turn and try again. Repeat this process until the insert fully installs. It is very important to remember this is an auto-reversing tool. Once you press the trigger, do not release it. After the insert is installed, the mandrel will bottom out and cause the electric driver to reverse. Continue to hold the trigger until the mandrel exits the installed insert and has retracted far enough back to clear the well for the next insert. Releasing the trigger will reset the tool, and pressing the trigger again will cause the tool to turn clockwise. If you accidentally release the trigger early, simply press it again and the tool will re-enter the installed insert, bottom out, and reverse. Alternatively, you can flip the forward reverse button on the driver to the reverse position, but be sure to flip the button back to the forward position before attempting to install the next insert. Try to prevent the mandrel from reversing too far back and bottoming out inside the drive shaft. You'll hear a clicking sound when this occurs. This may cause the mandrel to jam and may require several taps of the trigger to unjam it. With practice, You'll learn to release the trigger when the mandrel is far enough back to allow the next insert to pass into the well, and before the mandrel bottoms out. As you can see, using the Kato Prewinder Electric Tool is very fast and will greatly increase productivity. In fact, the Kato Prewinder Electric Tool is the fastest semi-automatic installation system for helically coiled screw thread inserts. The Kato Prewinder Electric Tool is quiet, clean, easy to set up, and easy to use. It's the best option for strip feed coil thread inserts, users, and it's only available from Kato. Thank you for watching the Kato Prewinder Electric Tool video.